This video focuses on auditing the organization's manufacturing process. And in this video, we specifically focus on how customer issues are communicated down to the shop floor level. The auditor is questioning the operator with support from the relevant supervisor. Watch this video and identify whether the auditor audits this activity effectively. So how are quality concerns uh, communicated to the shop personnel? Right, so if we get a customer complaint, the quality department uh, get information from the customer and the first thing they do is communicate it into the work area, the relevant work area. Um, you see that at the moment we've had no customer complaints. The last complaint we had was about three months ago uh, within this area. Okay, and who's involved in this? So quality would call together a cross-functional team. That would always include somebody from the production area, the relevant production area. Okay, uh, uh, that matches what I saw earlier, so I just wanted to confirm yeah. that. So, um, and the process to inform the operators of the nature of the complaints being right. received. Right, so normally it's the supervisor who would be involved in the multidisciplinary team. Um, what we do in our shift meetings, this is our shift meeting area, Okay. The operators would come here at the beginning of the shift. If there have been any customer concerns, we would take them through the nature of that concern. We would get their input as to the potential reason for the concern. And we would communicate to them any containment action that we have to take as a result of the customer issue. And do you have any evidence of these shift meetings? Um, not of the specific shift meetings, no. We don't keep any any records of those uh, meetings. I say we have this, uh, but this is for the last 24 hours. For the next 24 hours, we wipe this clean. So we don't really have any record of that communication. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll just follow up on this later. Right, okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Let's summarize. The good thing is the auditor is down on the shop floor to audit the communication of customer issues down to those people that are working in the real production environment. The relevant requirements related in this video are 7.2.2 competence on the job training and 7.4 related to communication. 7.2.2 states that persons whose work can affect quality shall be informed about the consequences of non-conformity to customer requirements. In this video, it appears that although the organization does some communication of customer-related issues, but the auditor did not really challenge the effectiveness of this process and there was really no objective evidence to demonstrate an effective communication. So let's summarize the key learning points. Auditors must be familiar with ISO 9001 requirements, ITF 16949 requirements, be familiar with the concept of customer specific requirements and any related sanction interpretations and frequently asked questions. If they do not understand this, they will not undertake an effective audit. Auditors should always follow audit trails to verify the effective implementation of the relevant process. In this case, there was just verbal communication, but there was really no objective evidence the process was implemented effectively. For more information, visit the website in the description and don't forget to subscribe.